Stargazers across the world got to see a rare sight Monday. Mercury passed between the Earth and Sun for the first time since 2006. The phenomenon called Mercury in transit happens on average 13 times every century. Depending on where you live, if you looked at the sun with proper telescope equipment, of course, you could see Mercury as a tiny black dot as it traveled across the face of the sun. CBS News science contributor and physicist Dr. Michio Kaku joins us. All right, so Michio, Mercury in transit. Can you just break down this phenomenon? Why is it so special to see that? Well, when an inner planet like uh, Venus or Mercury goes in front of the sun, it diminishes, diminishes sunlight a little bit and you can see it with telescopes. If you are an astronomy buff around the world, you have your telescope out there. You've been tracking transit of Mercury as it goes across the face of the sun. Historically, it was very interesting because we used that to calculate the distance of the solar system. The distance between the sun and Mercury was calculated using the transit. Yeah, and so nowadays, can scientists still take advantage of this to learn things about other planets? Exactly. We use the transit of other planets in outer space to verify their existence. Over a thousand, over a thousand planets have now been verified because they eclipse the mother star as they move in front of it. And that's how we identify large planets orbiting other stars in other parts of the galaxy. And Mercury in transit, by the way, is supposed to be uh, corresponding to taking care of your emails and letters and things that only take a few hours. When Venus is in transit, that's a time to get a wedding dress. <laughs> that's a time to take care of your house, beautify yourself. So Mercury in transit and Venus in transit is when you're supposed to take care of short-term things that, that you, you didn't take care of before. Oh, good to know. Duly noted. All right, Dr. Michio Kaku, <laughs> thank you so much. Mm -hmm.